Okay, uh, help this guy. He really needs some help. <laughs> he is uh, kind of depressed. Maybe this gentleman can help him out. And what is your name? I'm Elder Bis. Elder, I am senior. You are not senior. <laughs> Why you yeah. say elder? You are young people. Are you elder too? Yep. What does elder mean? So elder is a title. It just means kind of like teacher or missionary. As what we are. Oh my gosh! You have audacity to come teach me. Of course. Yeah, I love it. Look at look at their courage. It, right? I love it. They Courageous. It, no, Very nice. Like and what are you going to teach? about Jesus Christ. And how do you know? What's that? How do you know? How do I, how do I know like what we're teaching is true? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. What is your evidence? You have extraordinary claim, most likely like mm -hmm. all religious people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have extraordinary evidence, Elder Parker? I have personal witness, really. Uh, personal witness? I am personal witness too. Well, that's good for you. I'm but I'm, uh, I personally witness something very different. And therefore, there are people in India, they personally witness something different about Vishnu, correct? Some people in Sunni world, they personally witness about other things. Jehovah's Witnesses, they personally witness other things. Therefore, every, everyone is personally witness to something. And each describing, say, well, it is like a tail. The other say, nope, it is a, like flat thing. And the other says, no, it's cylinder. Maybe they are describing the elephant, but none have seen the elephant. Each they come to teach me, there is, they have seen something. And how do I know you thought uh, you really see what you think that you see, gentlemen? Beset, I, I, I apologize. I appear to be arrogant, but it is a little bit I need to be arrogant because you are the most arrogant person I have seen. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, do you want to call this one? Because uh, you are trying to tell me that you have certain secret communication with God that He will save you. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's secret. Like, there's no secrets. Like, God wants everyone to be able to communicate with Him. We, like, we totally believe that, like, other people other than our religion communicate with God. Um, I mean, I just, as for me, the way I found out the truth is I study the Bible, I study the Book of Mormon, and I pray about it for, to the Spirit. I pray but about I it. you question it know about from a skeptic so. perspective, because honestly, I love the way you are taking your bicycle, taking your time, and it takes courage and beautiful, uh, instead of getting, getting you know, going to the bars and stuff, mm -hmm. you want to share what you see with people. I, I really respect it. And Thank you. I would like to offer you some food I have, uh, some drink if you want, not alcoholic beverages. But honestly, uh, I, I have taken. But what is my really problem with the religious people all together? Mm -hmm. And they each claim to have something about God. Mm -hmm. It is the biggest claim you can make. You say, mm -hmm. the creator of the universe, I have a message from them. And then I look at the book and, well, it says some good stuff, some nonsense. Some of the things that come to me nonsense may not be, but my understanding may have. And then I say, okay, maybe sounds good. You are nice people, but because you are nice, it doesn't mean what you are telling me is truth because there are other nice people say very different things, send you to hell, and you send them to hell too. Both of you are nice. Therefore, I really expect extraordinary evidence that prove that this extraordinary claim is correct, correct? Yeah, that makes sense. So are you, are you self spiritual religious or more agnostic? I'm not religious. Not religious at all? I'm not religious and okay. I, I, I don't respect religions. Mm -hmm. I respect religious people, some okay. of them, not all yeah, of yeah. them. Okay. Because some of them goes to the church, say love your neighbor, love yeah. your enemy, and they come out, they vote for the warmongers, for more military, I hope you are not doing the same thing, for more wars, and they are waving the flags of nationalism, 
Jesus was not uh, American or uh, racist like a, a British guy, right? He was yeah. a Jewish guy there. Therefore, Absolutely. they contradict what they are teaching. Mm -hmm. They go to the church, they read something, they go out to say the same, not only here, in mosques the same. They say peace, love and stuff. They come out to the mosque, go kill them and stuff. Hello? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of contradiction in what people say they do versus what they actually do, right? So, yeah, right, there definitely is contradiction there. But are you a person of faith at all, or is that not really a... Uh, I know there is God. Yeah. I know 100%, mm -hmm. and I am a philosopher. Awesome. I challenge you to, if you have doubt about it. I, I, er, I, I debate with every atheist uh, uh, want to kind of evidence from me. I am ready mm -hmm. to give them, provide my evidence, extraordinary evidence. Mm -hmm. And also, I've written a book about uh, 19 questions for atheists. It is really? translated that's 10 cool. questions for atheists. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a philosopher, but I really would like you to really focus on uh, evidence. Mm -hmm. Because many religions tell very stories about God, but with very little evidence that doesn't even muster simple evidence in the court of law that cannot pass. Because most of you say, Mostly personal experience, which can be very deceptive. Every uh, person who is raised in the country, in the environment they are oh, in, yeah. they want to justify whatever they are taught. And their experiences, personal experiences, is usually biased mm -hmm. towards what they are raising. Therefore, and uh, there must be evidence, extraordinary evidence for God, for God's message. If there is God, yeah. the creator of the universe, and that God is rewarding us when we ask for evidence. Is science is correct? When we study God's law in nature, correct? Mm -hmm. And then when we ask more questions, more information, and more technology is reward for us. It is God that is rewarding us when we question. But when it comes to religion, unfortunately, mm -hmm. the question is suppressed. Question is a sign of ignorance or blasphemy, correct? And therefore, what, what are you studying? What am I studying? Uh -huh. Well, today I just studied the Book of Mormon. Because but we before believe... that, are you a student at the same student. time? Did you study at school, at college? Uh -huh. Did you study at college? Did you study? Uh, no, I just came right out of high school on my mission. Oh, from high school, before going to college, you do this service for two years? You can, if that's no, what you, you want can. to do, yeah. Okay. It's really yeah. just up What about you? I also came after high school. I'll go to college after I get back. Okay, for how long you are going to do? The, what we're doing right now? Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's two years. Two years you are mm -hmm. going to invite people. Mm -hmm. It will build very good uh, skills, communication skills, mm -hmm. and dealing it, with yeah. uh, grumpy old people like me, <laughs> correct? With uh, people maybe not liking you. That's, that's beautiful. I, I think you have good intention. You are not collecting money like your elders, elders do, correct? No, they don't get any money either. Come on, the, the church leaders, they make a lot of money. Are you referring to like the bishops and like the... Yeah, yeah, things? come on. No, so it's a lay ministry, so none of them receive any money. That's just simply time that they volunteer of their own. In your church, the people, the clergymen, do not make living out of it? No, they don't. They have regular jobs too, aside from that. Okay, so that's the beautiful thing. Finally, something, a religion that at least is not money-making business, for clergymen like evangelical church to like the uh, Catholic church to correct that's yeah. good one good sign about you guys yeah. and you tell me about your evidence about my evidence uh -huh. okay so what do you mean by evidence like say like if God gives us like a sign or like well your kind of personal experience for? honestly is good for you mm -hmm. but it is in something to be valuable scientific claim Okay, so scientific claim can, like, is verifiable and yeah, falsifiable. Right, something that can be seen or like felt. Verifiable or like, like and that. falsifiable. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I'd say that's where faith comes in. If you come a little bit closer, gentlemen. You I'm trying to up. get everybody in the picture. Okay, but I think, okay. You want me to... Okay, yeah. Yes. Verifiable and falsifiable evidence. That's evidence for me. Is the witness that the Spirit bears to me. I've studied it. I've prayed about it. Now, what better evidence can you have than God telling you that something is true? How, how God told you? Can you tell me? Yeah, I was able to feel it in my heart the things that I well, was Well, that feeling is exactly what is this, uh, making me suspicious of. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because if you feel about him, uh, for example, those people who believe in astrology, mm -hmm. they feel that astrology is true, which is a nonsense. It is just statistical 
normal statistical and normal that kind of common statements, very general statements that can come through. I can say, well, you you are a good person, you are very smart, and you love someone, you want to, you will have that one. And there are some people jealous of you, don't worry and stuff. Within three years, you will get a lot of what? Accomplishments, something. These kind of things, okay? Have you ever read from the Book of Mormon? Yes, I read, and I think it is, it contradicts the story, history, and of Latin America, I think. I didn't read the very detail, but I look at it, of course, it has its own story. And I think it is written as a fiction initially, but later when found, some people believe it, and the guys say, well, if some people believe it, let me make it believable, and turn it into a religion. And the only thing I know that the evidence they show that there was a tablet, golden tablet, correct? And there are witness names on it, 100 witnesses. So there was the 11 witnesses, or the 12 witnesses, the 11 witnesses, and then also the three witnesses before that, that also viewed them and wrote their own testimony. The story of witnesses doesn't appeal to me at all, because in all religions, they make up these kind of witnesses. I can right now make up a story for you. These are the name of the witnesses. I make up the name of the witnesses. All real witnesses, I will find for you. Trust me, I did it in the past. In any environment, if you have 1,000 people, there will be very gullible people among them, some senile people, some really IQ short and low people, some people just follow the crowd. I can convince them about something, get their signature. And I did it at the college. I did an experiment on students. I said, we are going to break Guinness record. Break Guinness record. And one of the students was critical creative thinking class I was teaching. I teach philosophy and logic. And then we said, we are going to fool the students, not only students, the faculty members, that we broke the Guinness record of drinking most Coca-Cola in one session. And I picked one of the students who is the skinny student, short, a girl. And then she volunteered to do that. And then we put the table. We advertised Guinness record is breaking. We had few people from Guinness. And then she started drinking. We have soda cans, a bunch of them, about two, three dozens of them. She started drinking one, two, three. People witnessing, students and teachers, professors. And then meanwhile, she did how many of them? 20, some more than 20 soda. And then on top, there are students in the second floor. They are also timing it, timing. And one student, the time, how many minutes? The other student, how many soda cans in half an hour? And what happened? She didn't go to the restroom. In 30 minutes, she drank more than 20 soda cans, these big cans. And then meanwhile, I asked students to collect the signature of the witnesses. And they collected the signature of the witnesses. I have it at home. And some of them professors, some of them students. And then guess what? It was a trick. And I asked the students sometimes to touch one of them, to spill over, to show that. Most of the cans were empty. In the bottom, we created a little hole, emptied them. Only a few cans have there. And that one she showed kind of by accident, spill over the other, showing drinking. But she was basically putting the empty can on things. And people thought it was what? It was breaking the record. And they signed it. Here is the witness. Therefore, simple people are very gullible, more gullible than you are. OK? Therefore, smart people can trick them, can easily. And have you seen that golden tablet yourself? Golden table, I can bring a golden table. It was rich, I can make a golden tablet for you and even engrave on it. It's not a miracle, even if it is true. It's a miracle, for goodness sake, gold. And someone write on it, not gold, maybe golden plated. Hello, you would not know, especially if you are saying, hallelujah, I am very excited. If you are really excited, emotional, you will not notice the fake stuff, and a lot of people do this fake stuff, religious people especially. Mm -hmm. If religious, you are not one of them, okay? But in religions, honestly, 
when I see a clergyman, the way of the clergyman. The clergyman is selling religion, basically, in the name of God. One of the worst jobs, I believe, in the world. In the name of God, making money. None of the messengers made money. Jesus did not ask for money, collect money. Moses did not collect for money. Muhammad did not collect money. Socrates did not ask for money. Correct? These are the prophets, messengers of God. Okay. Do you have any other evidence besides someone scribbled the name of some people, whether they exist That's or not? not. Really an evidence. You don't need. Yeah, you don't need. You don't know even whether they existed. You don't yeah. know their IQ level. You don't know what was really their mental things. You don't know what was the situation. What really they saw. Sir, we need to. We actually have an appointment soon. But all I can tell you is this book is true as true can be. And I know that. Um, and I know that in the end, you can write on everyone else's witnesses, but in the end, why they don't work is because you need your own witness. And I know that reading this book and praying about it brings your own witness. And if you that's, have a, that's beyond all, that about that's emotional appeal, emotional appeal, which placebo if, plays a placebo effect on many people, beyond that. Please come to me. My home is here, mm -hmm. and I give you my uh, address, my website, 19.org. Yeah, yeah, one by one line dot org. My email address will be 19 at 19.org. Okay. Do you have your own copy of the Book of Mormon? I have it. Thank you, you very own? much. Yeah, I really appreciate. I don't want to waste another, yeah, uh, yeah, another yeah. one. But uh, uh, if you mind. have evidence, if you have someone who knows evidence beyond. Well, I have in a, in written the name of witnesses. I can make up right now the name of the witnesses. They saw this one. No, That's why we don't ask yet. people to rely on the uh, yeah. other people's but witnesses. But personal experience, trust me, millions of people have personal experience. Special religious people have all sorts of personal experience. I have personal experience that no one of you can beat. But still, I bear personal experience is personal. But I should have objective, verifiable, falsifiable evidence that this is God's message. And uh, yes, and uh, yes, 19.org, my website, 19.org. And my, web, uh, my email address, 19 at 19.org. And uh, try to convince this guy. This guy is a gullible one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, he, he's a good guy, and you are a good guy too. And uh, I really uh, uh, apologize for saying, but I do believe God giving us mind to use our mind to find God's laws in nature. And the same for the God's message. It should be using the same questioning mind. Scientific methodology leads us to God's laws. To technology to more information about God's universe correct the same question 